I'm Kolo Turwe and you are watching PITV. I would like to start by asking you, what were your earliest memories of playing football? Um, I know you're going to <laughs> My earliest memories, for me, I will just say the start of my career, you know, because uh, that's where everything really starts, you know. And uh, I was lucky to join one of the best academy back in Africa mm -hmm. with a great, great uh, coach, uh, Mr. Jean Maguiou. Uh, Mr. Uh, Unye, who is the president of ASEC Mimusa. I think both guys help us to achieve, to make where we are now. And after that, for sure, you know, when you are lucky to come in, in a club like Arsenal, everything changed for you. Who discovered your talent when, when you were playing at that level, when you started off? Who, who came and said, yes, Carlo is... Yeah, there's a few guys, you know, and I think you have... Uh, you have to thank uh, God first, you know, because God gave you this, this, uh, this quality and this luck to find those people in the way. And there's few guys, you know, there is my first president, which I call uh, every time as I was on the phone with him. He, he just had a team in the, in the, in the, in the, in the town, you know, back in Ivory Coast, you know, and this guy has been amazing for, for me. And after him, Jean-Marc Guillou, Rouge you know, I have my few coaches as well, and after this, uh, Asen Wenger will just bring me to the next level. You have played for many clubs. How does Liverpool experience rate? Yeah, it's fantastic, you know, too, it's fantastic to play for one of the best uh, clubs in the, in the world, you know, for me, because I think Liverpool have, uh, have won so many trophies, you know, the stories of the club is amazing. And, even now the club is doing better, you know, you have few fantastic, you have a lot of fantastic young players, you know, and, you know, for me, I'm really enjoying every single moment I have here. How much does your religion play a part in shaping your game? For sure, you know, my, my, my religion has been, uh, has been my power, you know, because, uh, you know, for me, uh, my, my religion f go first. You know, and uh, Allah is the most uh, important person in the, in the world for me. And I thank him every time for what he does for me. Because without him, I don't think I would have been living this life. Because my life has been up and down, you know, but the trust uh, I put in my, in, my, in my God, you know, just helped me to, to just uh, stick working hard, you know, and uh, believe in me, and that's it. How difficult is it to practice Islam whilst playing football? It's easy. <laughs> it's very easy, you know, just uh, like I said, uh, my religion first, Allah first, and after Allah, my family, and after my family, uh, my, 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 my football. But uh, the football not, not come first. You know, my religion, my family, and then my job. Of course, my job gave me what I am uh, known by. If, if I wasn't blessed by God, I don't think I would have been playing football. Do you get a chance to do your daily prayers? For sure. Always. <laughs> Always, you know. In, uh, you have just uh, five minutes every, you know, every two, three hours, you know, five times a day, you know, that's very easy to do. You know, we have 24 hours a, a day and just have 25 minutes to, to spend, to think about God and to do the prayer. For me, I think that's quite really, really easy when you really want to. And, and following up from that, every club you've been to, like Arsenal and now you're at Liverpool, uh, are the clubs helpful in, in, in making sure that you, you do your prayers? Great. Great. In Arsenal, in City, I always had uh, a place to pray, you know, and here, uh, when I came, the manager just made he made a place, you know, for 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 prayer, for not only for museum but for Christian, for grief, you know, and that's great. That shows that uh, you know the the football world respect more, you know, religion, you know, because everybody have something that they believe on, you know. And for me, my religion is is, is my key, you know. And I'm not I'm not the only one praying in this place. There's Ali Sissoko as well, you know, who's praying there, and you know. 
that's great for us. You know, the managers have been, have been Brandon Rogers has been amazing. He just give us a, spl- a place, you know, for, for people who, who pray. Do you meet up with other Muslim players outside football? Yeah, of course, of course, you know. Nimbaba, you know, Nimbaba is a, is a, is a, is a, is a great guy, you know, big respect to him. Uh, Karute, you know, and uh, my brother here as well, you know, Sami Nasri. You know, everybody just have, everybody just uh, believe in God, you know, and uh, everybody have his level, you know, if I can say there's people who believe who are on the region more than the other one, you know, but the time get us in there yeah. and you find more people, whole people believe in God because they see that they're getting close to to the end of their life, you know, and that's what, that's what happened most of the time. True, true, true. How, how difficult is it to fit in Ram- Ramadan and fasting <laughs> and football? I think you need to be strong head in the head, you know, you have to be really strong mentally. You know, it, it, it's difficult, honestly, you know, because to go through a day without eating and spending a lot of energy running, being a struggles like a, a storage, Suarez, a training, you know, it's not easy in, uh, in the game. Like I say, everybody just adapt his body, you know, and for me, definitely when I do training, it's very hard, but I just just believe in my God and I try to do my best, you know, and uh, nobody is perfect, you know. Yes. Um, how do you celebrate Eid? I just, uh, because I'm far from my family, you know, it's, it's more difficult, you know, but uh, I try to, to get on with my brother or yeah. my family, we have a nice meal, you know, and I go to the mosque, you know, if uh, uh, the 20 is later, you know. Um, what makes you happy in football? You know, football football is, is been my life, you know, if I can say, you know, and uh, everything I have now, you know, I, I thank God that God just gave me this this talent to play football, you know, because because of that I can take care of my family, I can take care of uh, people around me, you know, and uh, at the same time I enjoy playing football, you know, and. Uh, and, uh, that's my life, you know, really. What, what makes you happy in your personal life? In my personal life, what me, uh, make me happy? God first. Allah. You know, and, uh, and uh, when, I've, uh, when I feel that hap- Allah is happy with me, I'm very, very happy. Because for me, he's the only one who can just, you know, yeah, you can make everything right or everything bad. Because it doesn't matter what quality you have or what you got in life. Mm. If God wants to hand up that, mm. he, will, he will find a way. True. You know, it doesn't matter. Mm. Um, opposite to the, the happy question, what makes you sad in football? In football? Yeah. Uh, nothing really. You know, I think, uh, because like I said, you know, football is great, mm. you know, but in anything, there is bad and good time, mm. you know, and you have to accept all of them. When good time come, you enjoy it. When bad time come, you know, you have to deal with that, you know, and for me, that's, that's all. And what about your personal, what makes you sad in your personal life? In my personal life, uh, uh, I think my, my, my relation with, with Allah is very important, you know, and uh, uh, if I don't, if I, when I do like my salad a little later or anything like that, you know, I feel a little bit sad for that, you know. Indeed, yeah. Once you've hanged up your boots, what would you like to do? Good question. <laughs> Honestly, right now, you know, I, you know, I, I've been through, I left my country when I was young with my wife, you know, who was 22, 23, mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm, I'm quite a big African guy, you know, and I will just try to, to go back in the country. Mm-hmm. You know, I had a lot of sacrifice, you know, I just want now to be with my family a bit and you know, enjoy the time with them and and maybe make a few things back in the country, help the country develop it, you know, because I think Africa needs the best people, uh, like uh, the best guys to go back there and bring them the knowledge, you know, and for me, I will look that, you know, maybe, why not maybe set an academy or maybe uh, being a coach there or, 
you know, but always have one feet back in Europe, you know, especially in England, you know, because this is my second home, you know. Okay. What message would you give out to youngsters from the Muslim community who wants to play football professionally? Just want to tell them that uh, uh, when you play football, that does not mean that you can't, you can't, uh, you can't, uh, uh, you can't be a, a good musician. You know, there is nobody is perfect. Don't wait until you're perfect to start doing your religion. You know, the religion is the most important. You know, and and your religion first, and family, uh, and football. You know, because if you don't have those principles, you know, it's difficult. And I think I find people who think that you have to be perfect before to you know, like, like go in the religion. It's, you know, nobody is perfect. True. You know, and nobody will be perfect. You just try to do your best in every every, every way you do things. You try to do your best, and don't think that yeah, if I want to be a museum, I can't uh, I can't uh, uh, do anything. No, you know, religion is very simple. You have to you have to fight to to follow the five principles. You know, as long as you're doing them, you know, you're fine. Yeah. You know, and I think, I think sometimes we make the religion more complicated than it is. And youngsters, they don't know. You know, they just think, oh, I have to be like, like. no, no. Do your religion, and as long time goes, as long as you learn from the word, you believe in grace. You know, but you have to start from somewhere. If you start, very small, you know, it will get bigger and bigger, and as and you will find that maybe at the end, after five, ten, fifteen years or twenty, you know, fifty years, you'll be more close to God. You know, that's the most important. This is a question you've probably been asked many times. <laughs> How good is this Liverpool team? It's amazing. It's a fantastic lot of young players, you know, fighting, everyday training really, really hard. You know, this, this team is amazing. The manager is great, you know, even the staff, you know, and the people who work at the club, very professional, you know. It's a great club, honestly. It's a great experience for me to be here. Do um, other non-Muslim players mm. uh, at Liverpool ask you about Islam and being Muslim? Do they do they take an interest in? in yeah, the... yeah, of course, of course. You know, because I think there is a lot of Christian, there is a lot of Muslim. You know, and the most important, we need to respect each other. But that's that's the thing. You know, because you can't make everybody believe in one thing. You know, and the world is different. Everybody is different. You know, and you have to accept that. You know, and for me, I talk to to them about uh, about my religion, and I, I talk with them about their religion as well. You know, when I don't understand something, I just ask them why you do that. Why you know, try to understand what they think, what they why they do things. You know, and I think we have to do that. You know, we have to respect each other. And again, this is another question you've probably been asked and your teammates have been asked. Do you believe Leopold can win the title? <laughs> Inshallah. 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 Only God knows. Only God knows. Mm. And how your time here, as you said earlier, has been a fantastic time so far. Um, this season, mm. what have you learnt the most out of playing with Liverpool FC? What I have learned is, is um, never give up. Never ever give up in anything you do. You will go through hard times, you know, but hard times come just to make you a better person. You know, and I remember when I was city, everybody was talking, Kolo Tore, finish, blah, 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 you know. And Mr. Brandon Rogers just had him on the phone, you know, I spoke to him. I came here, you know, had my preparation very well, you know, in this season, I'm playing, doing my best for my club, you know, and everybody who was talking, you know, is finished, they can see, you know, a different face, mm -hmm. you know, and I think, don't leave people just, you know, just like, uh, uh, make you think what you are not, you know, you have to show that what you are capable of doing, you know, and believe in yourself. Give on the pussy.